first things that the parents or the pediatrician will see are usually the skeletal changes like a um, kyphosis or gibbous, which is a humpback. Um, the chest may be developing differently. Pectus carinatum, sort of classic, maybe development walking is a little bit slow. Um, as um, the, the legs or the hips or the muscles are not um, uh, right at the milestones you would expect for that aged child. So those would be the, I think, development and these skeletal abnormalities are the first things that I would think that they're going to see. It varies. The, the really classical, I, I hear parents noting it six months to a year and then takes another year to get the diagnosis. So somewhere between a year and two years they really get into medical evaluation and then there's a slow process getting from pediatrician to geneticist to laboratory tests and making the diagnosis. We, we, we hope that they, one, they'll see the physical findings, the pediatrician, and maybe if they get um, some limited skeletal x-rays like hips or lateral spine, um, the radiologist, even though they can't really say it's morchio, they can say this these vertebrae don't look normal. I need to send this child to a geneticist. So it's a it's a long path sometimes for the families and frustrating and they're looking for answers quickly.